have now been the uh, four soldiers that have died have now been named all of them were just 19 years old they are sergeant omri tamari uh, in addition to that sergeant joseph pieb sergeant yoav agmon and sergeant alon amite all four of them please it barely says that these four and now Sky News comes up, Kate Burley says that these four 19-year-olds, I have said in the past, it is not acceptable for any innocent people to, to be killed. Unacceptable. However, it is unacceptable to take precious life, as God says, life is, life is precious. Yes, these four IDF soldiers are people. They are soldiers, are, and they have been attacking the innocent. Now... What about the 40,000 innocent people that have been murdered, that have been bombarded, that have had their food, water, etc. withdrawn? Is it okay for them to die as collateral? Is that okay? But you said it's a collateral of war. The innocent people get killed. It's, is this acceptable? Is war moral? Is war moral here? Or is war full of immorality here? And you say these people were murdered. What about the 40,000? Over 40,000. What about the kids that have had their limbs taken away? What about the kids that have had their parents? What about the kids that have been become orphaned? What about all those people? What about all those communities that have been destroyed? What about all the infrastructure and the hospitals that have been attacked and been put into rubble. What about the doctors that have been murdered in Israeli custody? What about all of those innocents? What about all those that have been abused in prisons in Israel? What about all those hostages that are, that are in Israeli captivity? What about all those that have been sexually abused in prisons? What about all this humiliation that the innocent have had to endure? What about shooting kids in the head twice, sniper? Doctors are saying kids are turning up in hospital that have been shot twice in the head, same, but they've been snipered or shot in the heart twice in the same spot. Are these, is this collateral or is this deliberate murder? What about all this? How can you dehumanise the Palestinian people and humanise the IDF? You cannot, because all humans bleed the same. We are all come, we have all come from one man. We are all one human race. Did you not see Kate Burley's voice tone change? As if she was extremely saddened. Yes, we're all sad when people die. We are all sad when individuals die. However, I've never seen you saddened like this when the Palestinian people die, when you report on 22 being killed and your voice tone, you don't really speak up for truth in a truthful way of holding your integrity. This is how we tend to see how people are. <laughs> Those people that are reporting themselves are dehumanized because they are told what to report, yet on this occasion they've reported for individuals that have been died and put their pictures up but what about the pictures of those kids that have been murdered so many bullets pumped into their bodies by the idf jesus said if you pick up the sword you will die by the sword and i'm not insensitive to those that have died i'm just making a point
You cannot go around killing and murdering innocent people and then cry wolf when you are being slaughtered yourself. You cannot do this. This is called total hypocrisy. One thing that really surprises me is that most religious leaders that we are seeing are not having nothing to do with this. They're not speaking about the atrocities. They have not come forward from the communities to to denounce the evils committed. We have general main public that have been going out there, that have been marching for Palestinian solidarity, that have been marching for the Palestinian people, but we have not had, we have not had any mainstream religious leaders come forward to talk on behalf of the killings of the blood of the innocent being taken. We haven't. We haven't had that. So, where are you from those religious communities? Where are you talking? Where are you talking about innocent blood being spilled? Why aren't you talking? You claim to be morally ethical. Even the individuals that I, I admire, they have not come forward. These religious people have not come forward to speak of what is going on and how to help resolve. They are supposed to be the ones that are giving some kind of spiritual guidance, but are they not giving any guidance? They bless those soldiers to go out and kill in the name of their God. They use the scriptures in an upside down way to excuse their evil killings and atrocities and genocidal ways. Where are these people? Because they are supposed to be giving light to the world. Where are these people with their spiritual guidance? Why aren't these people preaching about the value of human life and the respect for human life and the, the, the way to show peace and love and truth because that is the only pathway to God and even Jesus said love your neighbor even he said it so where are these religious people all communities I challenge you to come forward and speak up because you have not done so you can tell people how to live a good moral life that's fair enough you can tell people generally to say you need to worship your God and you need to do this and you need to let what's in your heart and give them all the personal development but if you can't teach people how to love their neighbor then you are a failure. You have a huge responsibility if you are representing God because he is saying, well, you are supposed to be the light of the world. You are his lights. You are the ones giving this guidance. You have been given the responsibility, but have you upheld your responsibility? Because he is watching and he has given you specific commandments and responsibilities. Where are you?